Papua New Guinea is probably the most intriguing corner of our planet. A world within our world. A land whose people and wildlife have evolved in virtual isolation. The gateway to this cultural and ecological treasure store is Port Moresby. A modern city situated around a superb natural harbour. It's served by the new Jackson International Airport, linking Papua New Guinea with the rest of the world, with direct flights to Singapore, Tokyo, Brisbane and Cairns, among other international destinations. The design and architecture of the Parliament building showcases the unique style of the nation, modelled on the ancient house tambouran and decorated by some of the country's leading artists. Port Moresby is also home to the annual Hirimoal Festival, celebrating the epic trading voyages of the city's ancient ancestors. The climate of Papua New Guinea varies, depending on where you are. Around the coast and on the islands, there's year-round tropical weather. But in the highlands, the weather is cooler, particularly when the temperature drops at night. In fact, the country's highest peak, Mount Wilhelm, is snow-capped for many months every year. Away from the capital city, life revolves around the village. Tribal crafts, skills and traditions run deep and are the genuine basis of this unique way of life. Ancient ways survive as the normal day-to-day -day ways of living. There are more than 800 languages still in daily use in this astonishingly diverse country. It's a culture that's alive in the traditional celebrations of feasts, marriages, deaths, initiation rites and compensation ceremonies. It can be savoured in impromptu sing-sings or at the great annual tribal gatherings such as the Mount Hagen and Goroka shows. At these festivals, tribes from the remotest corners of the nation gather to compete and keep alive the powerful traditional dances and music whose roots are lost in the mists of time. There's accommodation to suit every taste and budget. You can stay in modern hotels with every luxury. You can choose the natural beauty of a Highland Lodge. You can stay in specialist coastal resorts or in island hideaways to taste the true flavour of a lifestyle that has changed little for hundreds of years. Try a village stay. You'll be assured of the warmest of welcomes. Coconut milk, fresh from the palm, is the traditional greeting drink. And your accommodation will be simple and clean. From Port Moresby, many areas can only be accessed by small plain. Most of the interior of the country is rugged mountains and valleys, covered with rich forest. This challenging mountain terrain offers trekkers, climbers and cavers wonderful opportunities for adventure and exploration. Huge rivers flowing from deep in the interior cascade over spectacular waterfalls. With much of the interior cloaked in pristine rainforest, nature seems to have run riot in the lush tropical climate. The luxuriant vegetation and profusion of wild flowers and orchids 
provide the perfect habitat for the rarest of butterflies. Fascinating insects also inhabit the forest. The national bird of Papua New Guinea is the bird of paradise. For bird watchers, Papua New Guinea has more variety and numbers of intriguing species than anywhere else on the planet. There are over 700 species of birds in the country. and evolving in isolation, there are also many unique species of land animals, including several species of marsupials. For those who don't want to venture too deeply into the interior for their wildlife encounters, there are plenty of opportunities at Port Moresby's Botanical Gardens and at the Habitat in Ley. Sixty years ago, the conflict of World War II raged across the region. Today, the debris of that struggle is still to be found, scattered in the jungle. Not only guns, but also wrecked military vehicles. Not only warplanes, but even tanks, both on land and under the water. For many, the fascination of this tangible recent history is a magnet. For others, it's a more poignant pilgrimage, with the fallen of all nations being honored. The volcano town of Rabaul has some of the war's most intriguing remains. Its spectacular natural harbour being an essential naval base during the battles of the Coral Sea, old Japanese submarines can still be seen in deep tunnels in the mountainside. Local kids can never resist the call of a good wave, even if it is on a homemade wooden surfboard. For visiting surfers, Papua New Guinea is one of the last frontiers, one of the few places on the planet where you can find the most perfect waves and have them all to yourself. The Sepik River is one of the world's great waterways. It can be explored from the comfort of small cruise ships that visit the river's lower reaches. Or more intimately, travel the upper reaches of this mighty river from a motorized dugout canoe. All along its banks, the wildlife is intriguing.
The river permeates every aspect of life. In a region without roads, it's the only highway. So the traditional boat builder's skill is a valued one, carving canoes from the solid trunks of trees. The house tamborang, spirit houses, are the treasure stores of the artifacts of the peoples of the mighty river. Much of the art has a spiritual significance for the community and is treasured, but art is also produced for sale. In a country where until recently there had been minimal contact between many of the isolated tribes, every region has its own unique culture and distinctive art forms. Specialist stores will arrange the export of original artefacts to your home country. One tradition with its roots in the mists of time is the mud men. To make themselves appear as spirits and demons, to terrify their rivals, the warriors of Asaro daubed their bodies with mud and created gruesome masks. World-class dive boats and specialist dive resorts enable access to explore the underwater world of the remotest of regions. And divers worldwide agree that the jewel in the crown of Papua New Guinea is its diving. With over 600 islands scattered over three seas, the Coral Sea, Solomon Sea and Bismarck Sea, the underwater world of Papua New Guinea offers a mesmerizing kaleidoscope of vibrant color and intriguing creatures. Water temperatures are always comfortably warm, ranging between 25 and 29 degrees centigrade. This is the very epicenter of marine biodiversity. There are more species found in the clean, clear seas surrounding Papua New Guinea than anywhere else in the world. Papua New Guinea, experience the difference. <laughs> 